Big Brian here, SLC Audio. Today we're gonna to talk to you about another pedal from DOD. This one's called the Bone Shaker. DOD released a pedal that was a collaboration between them and Black Arts Toneworks. So Black Arts has some really famous pedals and they teamed up with DOD and we got the Bone Shaker. So conceived on a napkin at lunch at I believe NAM. Pretty cool. Let's talk about what this thing is and what it will do for you. This is a distortion pedal, but it's a distortion pedal that stretches out beyond the scope of a normal distortion pedal. And this one's a little bit more complex than other pedals that we've shown you in the past. The most that we've shown you in the past is about eight controls on a particular pedal. This one has nine. Don't panic, let's go through it and we'll figure this out together, all right? If we take a look at the pedal over here, you can see distortion, you can see depth, and then you can see level. Distortion, depth, and level. Not new to us now that we've been going through these a little bit, but distortion is obvious, that's distortion. Depth is what the modulation and the distortion is gonna be, how much you want it to affect. And then level is your output balance so that you can make all of your tone sound as smooth and as level as possible. Again, it's called level. The next pots that we see down here on the pedal they're dual pots. So we got an inside and an outside of low frequency, middle frequency, and high frequency. The level is on the outside, and then the frequency that you're actually, so this is a cut or boost, and then the actual frequency that you're gonna cut or boost. This thing sounds pretty good with everything dialed up to 12 o'clock. Let's take a listen to it, and you can tell me what you think for yourself. Again, let's start with the clean on my guitar, just so you get familiar with what the amp sounds like. With the pedal in, everything again at about 12 o'clock. Very nice distortion tone. And again, I haven't done anything really to the pedal, it's just in and it sounds great. So let's play with this a little bit and add some more distortion. Let's back off the distortion. Let's change the depth. Take it back. Put that again at about 12 o'clock. And then level again is just how loud it is. Nothing really complex about that. Now the frequency adjustments, the gain controls, that's what makes this pedal unique. I can take a frequency, find it low, let's start with low, and I'm gonna boost the frequency. Find a frequency, I'm gonna boost first. You can hear as I sweep that I'm changing the frequencies from lower frequencies up towards mid frequencies, but still staying in the low spectrum. Again, I'm gonna do that again so you can hear that in the low frequencies, boosted. It goes from adding a little bit of grit on the bottom end to becoming muddy. So find where you want your tone and then adjust from there. I'm gonna put this just so that I'm taking out a little bit of the bottom end on my guitar. Just a tiny bit, just a little bit. Now let's do the mid frequency, same thing. I'm gonna turn up the outside and give it so that I'm boosting. And then I'm gonna take and adjust the frequencies. So 
So just been playing with this middle frequencies and now I'm gonna cut out some of that frequency. I, it was a little bit annoying to me, didn't like it. That's the great thing about EQ is you can find things that you like and you don't like and you can simply either add it or subtract it. So I'm gonna leave that the way it is. Now I'm gonna play with the high end, the high frequencies. So again, I'm gonna start by boosting the frequencies and then I'm gonna sweep through, or excuse me, I'm gonna boost the level and now I'm gonna sweep through the frequencies. That sounds pretty sick. This is a pedal that is very versatile. It doesn't just sound great on guitar, it sounds great on the bass as well. If you're a bass player and you're looking for some tone, check this thing out. It's gonna make a lot of sense to put this in your rig because it's so versatile and gives you such a wide range of distortion possibilities. I wanna say thanks to Digitech for sending this out to us, Knackpack Films for putting this whole thing together. Make sure you guys subscribe I'm Big Brian SLC Audio, and we'll see you next time.